you can have your lap bap 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 Good evening, and welcome to my doctoral composition recital. Those of you expecting some sort of memory recitation involving medical knowledge, I am sorry to say that the doctorate in question is one in philosophy, not medicine. Those of you expecting philosophical recitations because of the PhD degree sought will also be disappointed. Those of you who are expecting a presentation of composition relating to number theory, this composition involves music. Now that I have disappointed all the medical, philosophy, and mathematics students, please take this time to turn off all cell phones, smartphones, portable video games, and any electronic equipment that might interfere with this recital. Okay, stop everything. You've done this before. That thing you called an announcement? This isn't any different. Of course it is. Plus, how many people in the room even know what we're talking about? Well, in 2006, Wesley wrote this thing called an announcement with a question mark at the end of the title, and we, the left and right speaker, debated whether it was just an announcement or an actual composition. To sum up, I won. It was, and still is, a composition. The right speaker is still bitter about the loss. Well, here we are again. It's the same concept, but I'll try to be rational and say us speaking this stuff isn't a composition and shouldn't be counted. Counted? In two ways. One, all the pieces on the recital have to be written while in Hawaii. An announcement was not written in Hawaii. What? This was written just a few weeks ago. What day is today? Uh, January 22nd, 2011. Yeah, so it's composed in Hawaii. But it just sounds like the older one. For all we know, it could have been written before he moved here, and he just changed the date. I'll fix that. Try the opening again. Okay. Good evening, and welcome to my Dakine. Those of you expecting some sort of Dakine involving medical Dakine, I am sorry to say that Dakine in question is one in Dakine, not Dakine. Okay, that's just cheating. Just substituting Dakine doesn't make it Dakine. Hawaiian. Yes, it does, brah. Wow, that sounded so local. I forgot you're the whitest person on the island. Or red if you spent more than 30 minutes outside. Oh, we could make it more convincing. Ha, huh, the only way to do that would actually have a local person do the opening. Okay. Good evening, and welcome to Wesley Johnson's doctoral composition recital. Wait, sorry to stop you, but could you do it a little more local? Aloha, and welcome to Wesley Johnson's doctoral composition recital. No, 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 more local. I mean, really, really Hawaiian. Aloha, e komo mai i ka aha mele no keia po. No, no, too Hawaiian. Just as local as possible to the point where English speakers can still understand the general meaning. Hey, how's it? This day was he's the kind, yeah? If you stay akamai and like hear about medicine and stuff, then sorry, yeah? This day for one doctorate in philosophy, not the other one. Be sure for shut off your cell phones and other things like that. Otherwise, that's just rude, eh? Mahalos. There. By the way, did you notice? Wesley has friends now who are from Hawaii. Okay, but did he write that last section? Well... Ha! There, this wasn't entirely composed by him. Fail. Fail? What is this, a YouTube comment thread? Yelling fail wasn't in the mainstream in 2006 when an announcement was written, so that means this has to be newly composed. My point is that since he didn't write the pigeon version, he didn't really compose this. Oh, so I guess Mussorgsky isn't the composer of the pictures at an exhibition orchestration. Fine, but doing the opening in pigeon or by a local still doesn't make the concept original because the setup is exactly the same. So every string quartet number two is not original then. Sorry, Bartok. You know the only reason that we're even in this is because the time requirement of the recital was a few minutes short, which is my second point. Are we at five minutes yet? Hey, the pieces that were cut had performers who ended up having a conflict. And do you know how difficult it is to go up to performers and say, do you want to be in my recital in three weeks? <laughs> Not to mention telling them, oh, and by the way, I write crazy music with crazy titles and are usually crazy difficult because I ask players to be crazy virtuosos in jazz, rock, and atonal music. Oh yeah, there's no money involved. 
It's amazing performers haven't begged uh, him to but, be on the program. But, but there's food. The non-performers will get food, too. This is Hawaii. They should, anyway, as a reward for sitting through this. Next thing you'll say is that the chance music piece is a cop-out and took no effort. Hey, you said it, I didn't. It also nudges the time closer to the required minimum. Couldn't he just get everyone to play slower? But that would compromise the artistic intention of the composer. Oh, and this thing doesn't? All these minutes of us and hardly any music? Okay, so we'll try the opening again. With music composed by Wesley Johnson, while in Hawaii, and the text read by a person who is actually from Hawaii and sounds more like a true voiceover person. Good evening, and welcome to Wesley Johnson's doctoral composition recital. Those of you expecting some sort of memory recitation involving medical knowledge, I am sorry to say the doctorate in question is one in philosophy, not medicine. Please take this time to turn off all cell phones, smartphones, portable video games, and any other electronic equipment that will interfere with this recital. Thank you and enjoy the concert. What was that? This American Life music? It sounds like this recital is going to be told in a quirky and whimsical way and then documented on public radio next week. I'm also not sure that music falls into the recital-worthy category. You know that backbeats are practically forbidden on a graduate composition recital. Hey, that music was a 4-4 four, four plus 5-4 meter. Only half the measures had true backbeats. Yeah, but still, a steady rhythm and diatonic harmony. I mean, this is a graduate recital. Huh? What? What? No, no, please stay undergrads. Please don't leave. He didn't mean it. We, we love all kinds of music. I promise. Grad students are just simply encouraged to explore more outside their comfort zone. No, I mean, that music couldn't be more mainstream pop. Ooh, want to bet? Yeah. Good evening, and welcome to Wesley Johnson's doctoral composition recital. Those of you expecting some sort of memory recitation involving medical knowledge, I am sorry to say the doctorate in question is one in philosophy, not medicine. Please take this time to turn off all cell phones, smartphones, portable video games, and any other electronic equipment that will interfere with this recital. Thank you and enjoy the concert. Okay, okay, you win. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the first time that autotune has been used in the Mayzinki Orvis Auditorium. Thank you. And nothing is more mainstream pop than a fade out. Because you couldn't think of a good ending. Exactly!